What is up, Sean's, Harry's, and Cowboys of all ages? Welcome to the ranch, and let's dive deep, deep, deep into today's topic. Today's topic is, did Grant McDonald get snubbed at the Grammys? I certainly think he did. Same. Okay, so let, let, let's let's look at some of the contestants for the best new artist of 2019. Billie Eilish, mm-hmm. who we all know took, walked away with a slew of awards, including the, uh, the coveted best new artist of 2019. Lizzo. Is fat and doesn't deserve that award. Uh, also, she's fat. Who else? Who else is nominated? I don't really remember. There are a couple other random people that I didn't really care about, but those are the two people who caught my eye. Now, I think we can definitely agree, Tyler. The creator deserved his best rap album nomination. Yep, that was a good. That's good a good choice. choice. Good choice. But you know what? It's not a good choice. Snubbing Grant McDonald. He deserved every goddamn award they had in the place. I swear. The level of music that man is putting out, Amen. Is, it's so much better than anything. Billy Eilish just talks about fake depression. It's literally just fake depression. Like, I mean, Grant McDonald is writing deep, heartfelt love songs for Cowboys, yes. Oil Rigger Boys, New Feet, Suck Boys. I mean, the list just goes on and on in his catalog. I mean, you could spend it's a catalog lifetime is there. A, it's only, like the Bible. It's so long. You could long. spend a lifetime there and only scratch the surface, really. Yeah. Honestly, I think I think he is one of the few artists of our generation that has been able to put out music in large quantities, but the quality just never lacks. Exactly. There's a lot of artists out there who put out some pretty decent music, but often what the case is is they just don't have enough content to really keep people interested for more than maybe one or two months of really mm-hmm. diving deep into their catalog. Yeah, but I think when you start to dive deep into Gavin's catalog, or not Gavin's, not once referencing obviously one of his songs, when you start to dive deep into um, Grant's catalog, Grant's catalog, you start to, to, to notice about his character and he tells stories and it, they're love poems, love poems for men essentially. And exactly. I think... I think I think when you think about it, I would equate it to the the volume and the content of Psalms is very similar to the volume and content of Grant's catalog. Exactly, except you know the Psalms it's only 150. Grant has well over I think three to four hundred deep, heartfelt, deep, deep, deep songs that just really they bring tears to my eyes every time I listen. I mean it's 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 cliche but it's really true that i just really i almost cry every time i hear a grant mcdonald's song they're just so well made I, I, they're so well made so well crafted such beautiful music such beautiful uh, lyricism it's just really amazing honestly. and i think i think pro- part of the problem is he's still a little underground right and people people need to open their eyes and be like hey there's this hot new artist named grant and he is making new music for all of us to enjoy and it's different. You might get put off by the constant like things that he's saying. It's repetitive, but if you dig into the deeper meaning, he's really got a story to tell. He you. really does. And it's you know the first time I heard Ram Ranch, I was like, "What the hell is this?" Then I listened same, again. Same, same, same. And I was like, "Wow, this is, there's actually so much here." And I just I was just weeping because it was just so deep. My eyes were open to a reality that I exactly that I I didn't know that this little this little pop culture song about cowboys and showers and all sorts of stuff like that i didn't expect it to be to get to the level of this guy is a not a grammy contender but should have gotten a landslide win exactly i mean they didn't even really he wasn't even on their radar but he definitely should be because the music he's creating is so much better than every artist who attended or didn't attend the ceremony amen it's just really crazy amen now enough talk of this snub of the grammys this is obviously our first video, but it's it's a, it's kind of an emergency video. It's very important to uh, to get out there to all the fans, to Grant himself. Uh, I know you love your super cool fans, but uh, let's let's just let's just dive into what this channel is about. This channel is about like obviously a lot of it has to do with Grant McDonald, but he's not only an inspiration to like the music, but like just the way we go about and conduct our lives. That's very true. I I I have a big. Um, we're obviously going to be discussing music, pop culture, sports, drama, entertainment, everything. We're going to have podcasts and videos, and I think we're going to do podcasts more than videos. We're going to get some topics. Um, but this on a serious note here, uh, how'd you re- how'd you react to uh, Kobe's death, bro? Um, so I, I was never I've never really followed the NBA that much, and I never 
you know, I've never been a big professional sports fan in general. I mean, I do follow, get into it from time to time, really. But I just never, I'd never really seen Kobe play that much. But I mean, it was just shocking, honestly. I did, you know, you don't expect these things. You don't expect someone to die at age, you know, forty-one, and especially in such a oh, like a heartbreaking a, 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 manner, a heartbreaking and abrupt, and it just really came out of nowhere. Yeah, I definitely know. Grant was weeping. I, I know. Yeah, and so we were weeping with him. We were, we were weeping with him. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Kobe Bryant's family and you know, everyone he knew and touched. And I know. Yeah, he, and the I rest of the people too. He, who he died. touched a lot of people, and mm -hmm. I know the families of everyone else who died too. I don't exactly know who was on that that helicopter, but I just want to wish you all uh, wish you all just um, the the best, and uh, just let you know thoughts and prayers are coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am looking forward to this channel, obviously. Our goal is to get 100 subscribers, yep, a fellow, subs. a, a fellow Ram Ranchers, but also to get Grant McDonald attention, and we also are creators, and yep. to spread the word and be like, yo, this Grant McDonald guy is a real deal. He but, really is. But, again, he was not for the Grammy, we know that. But um, we're gonna we're gonna make sure he wins it next year. Let's yeah. go ahead and slap on that outro music, and let's get going. So on behalf of Ram Ranch official, um, yeah, remember, stay strong, and uh, you really rock. Naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ram.